right, here it is. We're gonna go ahead and set it up and upgrade our pool. This is part three of the upgrading the pool. Uh, we bought this Solar Pro Curve. Um, I'm gonna try to set it up with this one. Uh, I'll show you guys my setup in a bit. So this pump is normally to clean the filters. All right, so this is what you get first. Um, get these two pipes. They're short, but still will do. They will make the work. Um, you get a couple of filter systems. I'm not quite sure what they are, so we're gonna go ahead and read the instructions. Um, a couple of things on the menu, how to set up, and of course, so this thing's pretty much all set. So we're gonna lift it up. There's legs here. You guys can see the legs they stretch down, and the way you tie them up, twist them. twist them and they tie it up. Do the same thing here. Tie them up. Uh, capture the rays of the sun. Uh, we're gonna take out the plastic in a bit. I'm just gonna get this whole thing set up first before we start. So I'll explain to you what it is, uh, what it does, all right? So let's go ahead and start. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, start this angle. So this is gonna be out, all right? So it's gonna be going flowing in. So what we want to do is want to make sure you add it in there and tie it up. So this is going to go back to the filters, the out external water. So and it says out here. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it on. So I don't have a longer key um, extension holes. So I'm going to need to put it close by. And we're going to test it out. See if it leaks too. So let's go ahead and put this this is going to go back to, this is going to go there, you can see it, so this one right here, it's going to be tied in there, and then the back end, it's going to tie it in to that end, so let's go ahead and move it. Alright, so here's a solar panel, uh, the solar ray to capture all the, the heat in the daytime, so the sun comes from this side and it's going to hit it. Um, I could get an extension of it. Um, the hardest part is these things right here because um, I didn't have any braces and you got to make sure you put the actual rubbers in there. There's some um, rings, oval rings. Um, it was a little difficult to get it going but I finally got it going. So you could hear it running through here. Right now it's cold but in the daytime this thing's going to end up heating up and it's supposed to heat it up at least 10 degrees or 5 to 10 degrees higher. So it's gonna keep it nice and heat. Um, system's running really good. So it's not generating anything to push it out, only to push it in. So we're okay on this part right now. So we, we got this handled already. Uh, I spilled some water, of course, but that's the price you pay to get the system going and I had to relocate a little bit, move my bricks, but they're still elevated. So you can see two intakes coming in. It's a little labyrinth right here. Uh, two intakes to sucking in the water, bring it to the pump, filtering it on the sand, pushing the water, cold water out, getting to the heat, heat's pushing it back out to the actual pool. And filter clean water, warm water, it's gonna be so. So there we go, and everything's adjusted right. And that's all we got to do. We're going to have to get the skimmer up and running again. But this one's working really good. This is sucking all this stuff up. Uh, that's the price you pay for uh, having a nice pool like this. So we're going to go ahead and continue some more. All right. So this is the review and my follow up on this thing. So far, the water is coming out a little bit warm. I left it here for a whole day. Um, the sun was shining on it. Uh, I had a leak in there, so I had to actually put a, an oval ring, and then I put in the a plastic that it came with another, like a, it's an oval ring, but it's extended. So I, I just don't like that. That's really light, like that's breakable. It's like it's, and then this is not. It kind of curves, so it's it gets heavy, and I'm afraid that I'm about to tie this down somehow. I'm gonna tie this one so it could hold the weight more, get shorter shorter holes I will say uh, or find another way to actually brace that somehow uh, 
I might just redo this thing and make it like a short connection to there because that is that's necessary yeah I'm gonna make a shorter connection to that uh, if it's possible I'm gonna see if I can do that but it's a different angle different degree and different sort so let's go ahead and review this it's nice it's nice and warm it throws out warm water um, it's gonna warm up the whole pool um, right now there's no Sun right now at the moment so but I'm still gonna continue on for a couple days with it uh, I like that it elevates if you can see it it's elevating uh, the only thing try to connecting was the hardest thing that's it so I got my I got everything set up on there I had extra holes and I had a um, I didn't have to buy anything extra but I did buy some stuff just in case I need it um, it, they do give you some other type of holes, but they're not They don't look very um, Very sturdy because they do have some fasteners and I don't like to put too many fasteners metal fasteners uh, I like to keep it as it is so so far. I got the upgrade here with the water heater um, You could add multiple ones if you're not getting hot enough and um, You could move this somewhere else if you want to but you're gonna have to get a longer extensions of course and the longer extensions you need uh, but right here where the Sun hits it's gonna hit in the morning warm up the whole thing so that's why I'm, I'm basically focusing on make sure that that's that's nice and neat now the legs are not that sturdy um, but they're holding on so let's see and it's a little heavy I mean once the water gets in there it is super heavy and you can feel it and this is plastic of course but it's meant to for the sun to get in heat up the glass the, the plastic it's plastic it's not glass but uh, that's pretty much just a black um, tubing in pl covering plastic so reflection of the light hit it warming up sending the tubing back up to the system so right now as it is it's coming a little warmer uh, but it's pushing it out. It's doing its job. So we're good so far Well the heater it was okay. I like the heater, but the setup of it It's not my cup of, cup of tea. Actually, it's a little difficult um, If you don't have the fasteners or the right um, Tubing you might have an issue down the line as you can see it's hanging there and it hits that curve right there that I don't really like it so I'm gonna have to find another way to move this and maybe get a, a longer holes or something easier to work with and see if I can do that but other than that I'm gonna continue testing this out for a couple days um, I feel it I went in it in the water right now really cool little nice nice and little warm you can feel a little de five degrees warmer um, I like it when it gets hotter it's gonna get warmer a lot warmer so I'm gonna continue on running for 12 hours the day and then um, get the Sun in the morning turn it up and see how that goes so if you have any questions or any comments on the heater on the water heater for your pool let me know I'm your host Frank the tank out